last speaker of this, of this morning is Ning Jiang from Wuhan University. And he will talk about uh, a limit between the two species, plus of Maxwell Boltzmann system and the two free Navier Stokes Maxwell system with Ohm's. Thanks. Uh, uh, first, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm this wonderful workshop. It's my first time to come to, to this country. So uh, this is a recent work uh, with my years, my student. Uh, he is my postdoc uh, when I was in Tsinghua University. And it, we, yeah, it's this uh, incompressible name stocks Maxwell uh, system uh, from Russell to Maxwell Boltzmann. So uh, here, so we briefly introduce uh, the Russell VMB in briefly. Uh, so uh, th this is a uh, is uh, could be considered a, a, as a uh, most uh, complicated uh, kinetic equation and Boltzmann type equation. Uh, you know, so, so if uh, without uh, this uh, the, uh, this term and uh, just one particle, that's the uh, usual Boltzmann equation. So this uh, this uh, this V M P two species is considered the evolution of a, a gas of a two species of a uh, charge, uh, you know, positive and the negative charge in the particle, uh, equations for the charge uh, yeah, yeah, is, and, and the areas. Okay, uh, subject to the auto induced uh, electromagnetic force. So, so here f positive and f negative, the function of a Tx v is, uh, is part of the number density. Distri di distribution of the positively or negatively charged ion and the equations. So at time t, uh, position x with the speed uh, v, the particles, the number density. So the, the, the first uh, two system is the so-called Vlasov-Boltzmann uh, uh, equation. Here is uh, this, uh, you know, d dt plus v dot grad x is, uh, is a free transport operator. Here is a force in turn, here is come from electric, here is uh, the magnetic. And uh, these two terms are the positive, 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 negative, and the negative, negative. That's the uh, collision between the between the particles. Uh, Q it will be introduced later. And this is coupled with what? Coupled with uh, you know, the function of uh, the equations of E and V. That's a famous Maxwell equations. So this one is an uh, Ampere equation. This is a Faraday's uh, law and the Gauss equations. Okay. So this is uh, this is equation the uh, famous one. Okay, here is a, it's, it's a Lorentz force, and the motion is uh, governed by the Maxwell equations, which are uh, Ampel, Faraday, and Gauss law. Okay, uh, so uh, we are, uh, in this work, we are interested in uh, the fluid, the hydro macroscopic limits of this uh, VMB. So before that, we, of course, we have to consider the Wilpocis. So the, uh, okay. So before we go to the analytic uh, works, so we we introduce uh, here the, 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 the you know the right hand side of the Boltzmann of Boltzmann equation. So the that's a famous Boltzmann collision kernels. Uh, here is a is a, is a uh, without a star and the, with star is is uh, two particles. So so basically the the picture is a. Uh, it, it, it's particles, so uh, and uh, with uh, here is uh, with V and uh, with star, and after elastic uh, collision, so this uh, with uh, V prime and uh, V star prime. Okay, so and uh, with conservation of uh, uh, mass, momentum, and energy. So okay, so uh, and the V V star V prime V prime uh, V star prime, but has this uh, has this uh, relation which is. Uh, which is could could be could be uh, use a picture that uh, something like that. here is uh, oh, the the origin here is a v a v star and the v prime and the v star prime okay this is a triangle oh no, not this is a rectangle okay so uh, now uh, let's uh, review uh, very quickly the history of a uh, uh, global time web process of this uh, v and b uh, in more gen more general the kinetic equation. So the real breakthrough is the late 80s. The, uh, but basically, there are two types of solutions. The first one is a weak solution, uh, specifically it's called uh, for kinetic equation called uh, renormalized solutions. And that's why it's a classical solution. So in the first, uh, first type of result, uh, the, 
the, the, the real breakthrough is the later 80s, uh, Diploma and the uh, news. They consider the book cut off camel, so, uh, they get the boards about, and the later on, and, and later on, news got the, the, the philosophy of possum boards, man, uh, which will be the topic of uh, Dr. Lee uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then in, in a, early 2000s, uh, Alexandra and uh, Venani, they consider non cut of uh, non cut of criminal board my equation. Again, the the renormalized solution, but uh, because of this non non cut of uh, uh, non cut of effect, so they they can they can only get this weak solution with inequality. So that's uh, for the board and the VPB, but for VMB, uh, the VMB is a developer so very quick very recently the Diego Asanio and the Los Saint-Rémont uh, yeah, they wrote a huge book. Okay, uh, in that book, it just uh, will, will be published this summer. Uh, it's a very difficult one. Okay, I will I will I will discuss more details uh, later on. Uh, because of this hyperbolic hyperbolic first feature of the Maxwell equation. So the advantage of this kind of renormalized solution is that, is that it, because it's a large initial data, only requires some physical bounds. Physical, Bounded uh, momentum, bounded energy, and entropy, entropy. But it's obvious drawbacks. It's uh, it's uh, needs some unpleasant, un I mean physically unpleasant uh, renormalization uh, process uh, formats, and the uh, uniqueness is not known. And the conservation law, there are some conservation law, but with some defect measure, and uh, and for some some conservation laws, even with a uh, with a defect measure, we, we don't know. For example, the local. Local conservation of energy, we don't know any any set for renormalized solution. Uh, so uh, more so so we people like always like a classical solution, uh, but uh, for for this kinetic equation, uh, so far the only solution we can we can obtain is a classical solution near some some equilibrium. Uh, it's a Gaussian, the Maxwellian called it Maxwellian. So in very very early work is a uh, Japanese school in particular Wukai get the cut of kernels and uh, with some restriction on the on the index of the of the kernel. So in early two thousand, uh, Yan Guo uh, he, he he proved uh, in a serious work uh, for Boltzmann, VPB, Blossom, Poisson, whatever the cut of kernel, and uh, later on uh, two thousand ten two groups. Uh, Philip Grassman, the Bob Strun, and another one, the Alexander Morimoto, Kai Chao Jiang Shui, and the Tong Yang, they got uh, obtained some, uh, at some time, non cut of kernels. And many other people made several generalizations, I mean, to more general uh, condition kernels. And, uh, so the advantage is, uh, is obvious. Smooth solution, so they have all the conservation law formally, could, uh, formally obtained that they can prove. And the drawback is that it's a, okay, so it's, it's a near group, but next week it's not a large solution. Uh, so now, uh, now we very quickly go through some basic uh, uh, property of a uh, Boltzmann equation. So it's a dissipation property, it's a Boltzmann's H theorem. So the dissipation of entropy and the equilibrium here. Uh, so the Boltzmann's H theorem tells us okay, the following. Uh, three statements are equivalent. So log f of b b is oh, sorry. B, this b is that the q mentioned in the first page, the condition group, and uh, they, 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 the condition term vanish if and only if f has a specific form which we call the Maxwellian. So it has a, it has this form is a rho u theta could could it be recovered from from this uh, macroscopic uh, terms. Uh, density, uh, velocity, and the temperature, and this uh, rho theta could be covered from Maxwellian by by this bracket is uh, just take a moment. Okay, so you know, so for a physical system, so a, we we want to do some non-dimensionalization. So I skip here. So anyway, at non-dimensionalization, the stored my equation, its a uh, dimension is four. Is this okay? So now you see here is a is a, is a dimension this number, dimension of uh, this number which is called the Lusa number, is the ratio of a mean free pass and the macroscopic mass scale. So the 
uh, so-called fluid region is uh, epsilon very small, and from here, so epsilon very small. So this term, uh, because the left hand side is order one, so to keep the right hand side that order one, but epsilon go to zero, so this b must go to zero. That means f must be has a form of a metric. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, so the epsilon the limit that the epsilon go to zero is called the fluid limit of uh, kinetic equation. So uh, now we're uh, two of ten uh, for some for for the physical reason two of ten are uh, incompressible. Uh, we are in, we are particularly interest, interested in the limit to to the incompressible fluid. So this uh, we should consider the f close to the group max limit. Okay. Uh, so with the fluctuation, uh, the, the 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 size the size of the fluctuation uh, basically is uh, so called Mach number. Uh, and the delta, this guy is going to zero as epsilon goes to zero. So the fractal equation like, like this uh, here, L, L is a linearized Boltzmann, linearized Boltzmann condition kernel. Uh, here, so now you can say from here, so when, if you multiply the epsilon on both sides, so formally let the epsilon go to zero, so these two terms vanish, this vanish. So G epsilon will go to the null space, kernel, null space of this L. So the null space of the L is uh, spanned by one v and the v squared. Okay, so this uh, so so in other words, when epsilon goes to zero, g epsilon goes to g, which is in, in the kernel space of L. The kernel is has this uh, specific form rho plus u dot uh, v plus uh, this guy times c. So the equation of rho u c times uh, so called fluid equation. So uh, now. Uh, so uh, the the most uh, you know the, the famous one is uh, the so-called uh, from Boltzmann to inc to top ten the incompressible name stocks. So uh, now we for to to got uh, uh, to to obtain the incompressible fluid. So we have to rescale. Uh, we do have to consider longer time scale. So so rescale the time and get this and the f and the size. The case the delta epsilon take uh, the form of epsilon. Again, right here, delta epsilon is, is a Mach number. So, so two of them, the name stops. So the Mach number is uh, always the same order as uh, as the Lucy number. And uh, guess this, uh, G epsilon will go, go to this form, and uh, this U and the theta satisfies the incompressible name stops and with all four so, the equation. So, uh, so uh, for the whole project is to rigorously justify this uh, Form a limit in the context of uh, both the parallel solution and the classical solution. So uh, this uh, here is a very brief uh, history of this uh, uh, through the limits of I any mean, name stocks limit of limit of Boltzmann. So the famous one is uh, you know so called uh, BGL programs uh, started initialized by the Claude Badu, Francis Gauss, and uh, and uh, Dave Lemoore, uh, which uh, which he, he, he was my PhD advisor. So and uh, their program uh, finally uh, was uh, was uh, completed by Gauss and Salomon uh, two thousand four uh, for the for the Maxwell condition kernel and later on they generalized to to uh, hard potential one. Okay, so the, and the later and they, so, so so for this case they consider consider the domain without boundary. So in the boundary boundary domain. Maxwell in the ceremony uh, two thousand three, <coughs> and the B uh, and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, Maxwell uh, considered the full name stocks limit of this founder layer uh, yeah, a few years ago. So now this is a uh, uh, name stocks limit in the context of a uh, renormalized solution. Uh, another one is a uh, is a classical solution, uh, the the classical work of a Cambridge uh, early to early eighties. So, so, so using employing the Hilbert expansion to justify short local in time compressible Euler limit, I mean before the shock, uh, and Badiou uh, and uh, Wukai uh, in early nineties they they used the Sela group uh, method to obtain the incompressible Navier Stokes limit uh, for hot sphere. Uh, Yang Guo later on we use the uh, nonlinear energy method and the uh, two obtaining stock to limit and uh, recently I uh, Cao Jiang Xu and Hui Jiang Zhang, my colleagues uh, took again also name stock to limit. 
And uh, Mark Bryan, in his, uh, in his Cambridge thesis, uh, and later on with, uh, with uh, Marino and um, Clermont, and uh, also divide, uh, just find the name stops in it, but uh, using the same group. And uh, very recently, this year, so Gelber and uh, Tristani also uh, derived this name stops in it. But uh, you, you might uh, get confused. So why why all of this work is about name stops and limiters? So what's the difference between these two works? Okay, so I, I will explain this in the next page. Okay, in the next page. Uh, besides the difference of uh, domain, okay, uh, you know, torus, uh, host space, host space, or the collision kernel, there is there there are some key differences. And uh, now you notice so, so for this three this three works I I underline it. Uh, why is this this difference with other works? So uh, now the 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 current project is about okay. So all I mentioned here is about the uh, name stocks. So how about the hyperdynamic limit of a uh, blossom coupled with a uh, Poisson or Maxwell uh, through the limit of BPB and the BMB? Okay, so that's uh, that's a topic of this project. So basically, VPB is similar to Boltzmann, okay? Because it's coupled a Poisson equation is a good, good equation, okay? With very good regularity. So, so I can say, uh, roughly speaking, all the results uh, obtained in Boltzmann could be generalized to VPB, but for, for, for VMB, it's not so easy. Okay, so, uh, okay, so VMP, VPB is similar to Boltzmann, but VMB is quite different, uh, much harder, mainly because of uh, Hyperbolic feature. Now I make a remark. Okay, here there are two types of uh, results. I call it type one and type two. And in fact, the claim one, the Michel in their work, uh, you know, I, 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 I just quote uh, quote some sentences from their uh, long papers, cuts program in kinetic equations theory. So here, type one result is uh, from I call it uh, from kinetic to fluid. That means that from solution of the kinetic equation, then prove the compactness of the solution, uh, and then take limit. Usually, it's the weak limit to get uh, it, it take limit in the conservation of the original kinetic equation. Then obtain obtain the solution of uh, of of a fluid equation. So this type of result is uh, is following. We have a scaled uh, kinetic equation, and uh, for each epsilon we have a solution. So we have a a family of solution depending on epsilon. Then that epsilon go to zero, we usually take a subsequence and a weak convergence to obtain a macroscopic equation. So this process, once we finish, we automatically get a solution of the fluid equation. In fact, this is the original goal of a so-called Hilbert six problem. Is that okay? We have some some microscopic uh, model. Then after some some mean I mean average limit, so we can get some equations, a solution of a macroscopic equation. So there is another type of solution uh, of results, which called from the solution. Okay, we have we, because we've already derived this uh, fluid equation. Then for this uh, fluid equation, we already have some. We will only know some result, right? Okay, so now we started from the, this uh, solution. We started from solution of the fluid equation. Then construct the solution, a, a special the form of a solution of the original kinetic, kinetic equation with a special form. Usually it's using the expansion method for Newton number epsilon very small. So for this result is from the solution of a fluid equation to get the solution of our original uh, or original uh, kinetic equation. So of course you can imagine that the usually type one result is uh, harder to obtain. Because uh, they from kinetic then take limit force the solution of kin kinetic to the solution fluid equation. And uh, we don't need to know any information a priori about the solution of fluid. Because uh, its solution, the existence and the property of the of, of, of the fluid equation are obtained by taking limit from the kinetic equation. But the type two is uh, we know the fluid equation solution, then construct the original solution. Okay, so so the Mo and the and the Mishler in their paper cuts program in in, in 
academic equation, they, they wrote in this form. I, I just quote from the from their paper. He said, okay, this, this uh, means that their result. This provides a first answer to the question raised by Katz. However, our result is an inverse answer to, in the sense that our methodology is a top down from the limit of equation, from limit equation to the many particle, uh, particle system rather than the bottom up as was expected by Katz. So he, what, what they mean, okay? They mean is that exactly what I, what I, what I mentioned here. Uh, so in a bottom. So his, uh, his bottom is here, the particle system. Then get the kinetic. Then get the fluid. So this direction called the uh, called, uh, bottom up. Okay? And this direction called the uh, uh, top up. Okay? So this one is harder. This is relatively easier, but not easy. Relatively easy, but plus not immediately easy. Okay, it's hard. Okay, still hard. So, so, so original cuts conjecture is from particle system to kinetic equation. But uh, what uh, more and the and the mission did is uh, from kinetic equation and the construct a famous solution of a particle system. That's uh, what they did. But uh, our our analog, uh, analog of our case is uh, is is this process from kinetic and fluid. Okay, that's okay. Now, about the velocity of Maxwell Boltzmann, it's a hyperdynamic linear result. Is are, are surprisingly very, very few. So formally, so formal. So uh, Julie Young, uh, my my colleague, uh, when I was posted at the Crown Institute, he, he also, she she also was there, and uh, and uh, she with uh, Ms. Moody uh, do did some formal analysis of both compressible and incompressible models. From VP, VMB, uh, including Max, Navistock, Maxwell, Euler, Maxwell, etc., but uh, it's formal. And uh, Judy uh, herself uh, did some some very preliminary results of the of the, of the limit from v, VMB, but uh, her result uh, uh, in some sense is uh, very too special because uh, she made some assumption. That there's no magnetic effect at all. So so it's, in fact uh, her result is. Uh, it's not from the end okay? because they just uh, she just said you know this uh, this because she made this uh, magnetic uh, field uh, with, with uh, in front of this B she add some epsilon uh, so when epsilon go to zero so it just vanish okay in the huge book uh, Diego Asanio uh, okay another crown guys okay uh, and uh, Saint Ramon they. They consider in the renormalized in the context of renormalized solution, they derive the the the, the, the two fluid incompressible lamp stocks for the Maxwell system with almost small. Okay, um, but uh, they, they, they consider in the renormalized solution. The pick the book in fact two books. Okay, just uh, well, uh, seven seven hundred pages. So. Uh, I visited uh, Eco Polytechnic uh, 2006. It's just just uh, okay. Uh, so I encountered Sarah Sarah Moon, and uh, so I asked her, okay, uh, in the renormalized solution, you know, 707. At that time, it's uh, 800 pages. Okay. And, uh, so I asked her, so uh, is it possible to consider uh, in the context of a classical solution uh, for which? For which the, the conservation law will be automatically uh, helps. We, we then we take limit. Uh, but uh, for for this class, for this uh, solution, the key point is to obtain obtain the uniform in absolute estimate. Uh, so Sir Herman told me uh, she said, okay, for this for for even for the classical solution, the uniform estimate, the uniform in absolute estimate is not known and. Uh, and uh, uh, so th then she encouraged me. She said, "Okay, you can try." It. So okay, this is my work. Okay, we, to go together with my student and postdoc. So first, uh, we use a we do a a a top down result. Okay, using the using the Hilbert expansion. Uh, then we, this year we finally we got uh, okay the bottom up result. Okay, from the V and B then get uh, uniform estimated final and take limit to get the result. 
solution of work. Never starts the next one. Okay, so I tell you a lot about this term, but what's what, what's never stops the next one, okay? In particular with own slope. Okay, it's, it's like this. Okay, so so of, of course the major term here is uh, here is a, like, like a incomplete never stops, but here this term is a is a density here an electric magnetic field. Okay, this is a full. And uh, here is uh, the key feature of this uh, system here is uh, with a uh, with a generalized uh, so called overslow. You know this uh, system. This system obtained the interest uh, only only you know ten years ago, almost okay. So to uh, Mesui, he is a guy is uh, to 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 obtain the first uh, non-trivial result. Now you know so for this system, okay, it's global in time, uh, Larry type solution, which solution are open, even in two D. It's this kind of a surprising. Because uh, okay, because it's a it's a net is net stocks or something something, but it's a behavior of solution of this net stocks and Maxwell solution. In fact, more like uh, it's more like a three D incompressible Euler. Okay, because it, because it's a it's, it's a dissipation is a it's a dissipation is a far way to is anyway dissipation is not enough to obtain the compactness as incompressible net stocks. Okay, how how far away? So Mesfudi, uh, in two D cases, he, he 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 obtained a global strong solution of the inch data like this, uh, but S is a strictened Grissom solution. Okay, if S equal to zero, that's that's a narrow type solution in two D. Okay, but uh, for three D, it's even harder. So then, okay, and uh, later, and his uh, collaborator, including uh, Jiman and uh, Ibrahim, okay, uh, yeah, and uh, again, as uh, so, you know, they they also consider some some isotopic uh, isotopic uh, analysis limits of uh, this. Uh, they also call the viscous MHD, okay. And uh, last year, the end of last year, Asani uh, and uh, Gelder, they, they obtained a uh, weak solution, but in the following sense, with a finite energy, and, uh, but it, it's, it's, it's bounded in V, but uh, small, but G and B must be small in, in, this, uh, in this space with a little bit higher regularity. So, so it's kind of a V, it's, okay, it's a large, small solution, okay? So large in V, but uh, small in E and B. Okay, that's the... I think that's a, that's a state of art. Okay. Uh, now, after scaling, okay, so the two species of AMB, uh, here the scale is okay, again, the time scale is uh, time must be scale here, and uh, here is a uh, one of epsilon, this is a condition, uh, and uh, consider the fluctuation around the M. Okay, and uh, the, the, the Maxwell equation also scaled and here, noted the one of epsilon here. So apparently it's a kind of a singular limit. So formally, formally it's a fluctuation g plus and the g negative will goes to, goes to this kind of, a, uh, it's called the infinitesimal Maxwellian. And if you uh, take the average of a rho plus and the rho negative and, uh, and uh, the difference of a uh, rho plus and rho negative, so this function is uh, u theta and e b uh, will satisfy the two fluid uh, incompressible net stocks Maxwell system with Oslo. So the project is okay, rigorously justify this limit. Okay, that's our result. Okay, so uh, I introduce uh, two types of result. The first is uh, using the <laughs> using the peer the expansion. Okay, the top back. Okay. Okay, so you know this uh, starting point of this kind of uh, solution is, uh, is uh, this kind of uh, approach. Approach is start from Russell Kavich in his uh, basic in his uh, dissipation, okay, compressible Euler, but uh, before shock, local time. Okay, so we take the answers. Take the answers here. Uh, you know around them, but the expansion here is a G zero. G zero is uh, this form. Okay, I emphasize again okay, here. G zero has a specific form, and this rho zero u zero theta zero is the solution of incompressible net stock Maxwell system, which is uh, known a priori. Okay, because we can pr we first prove the solution of this. Uh, uh, we first prove that the, the, the existence of this uh, this one 
Then and and okay, building on this G zero zero, we can we can write down precisely what's G G one and G two, and there is a remainder. There is a remainder. Then we need only to prove to write down the equation of the remainder. Then prove its uh, its, uh, its 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 existence. That's it. That's uh, that's again. This is so called. Uh, if, uh, this is so called uh, Hilbert expansion. But uh, here, notice this. Maybe you can you can ask uh, why this is epsilon epsilon greater than uh, this guy is going to epsilon again. Okay, so it should be higher order, right? And the reason is for it. The reason is that uh, you know, so for the Hilbert expansion, so g zero plus epsilon g one plus epsilon squared g two, right? So each term g zero g one g two has two parts. The fluid parts and the kinetic parts, which uh, which formally could be completely determined. We, we can write down the equation, but you know, analytically, we you know we couldn't uh, expand this uh, go to infinity term, right? So we have to we have to cut okay at some term, okay? So to make it as a to make it easiest, okay, the shortest expansion is this. But it, but the point is that uh, you know so. Two rights up to the epsilon two term. Here, the g one term is not completely determined. So there is something undetermined. So we go, we put it into the remainder. That's the reason why we we uh, we, we, we put the remainder remainder with this term. This uh, format exactly tell us tells us the solution of f e b is of a special form. We are looking for the solution has this form, okay? That's uh, that's uh, okay. Uh, okay, so then say the leading term is given by this, and uh, the solution, okay, is uh, obtained uh, with on the slope. Okay, then the and the g one g two and the here and the g one g one and the e one. Uh, this uh, obtained is some linear Maxwell type of system uh, like this, and uh, and the remainder term to write as okay. Note. So here the remainder term still nonlinear, but because it's already subtracted the, 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 this leading term, okay, so the remainder term the nonlinearity and the singularity is weaker than the original original big big, big IB. So our goal is to prove the existence to get a uniform estimate for this remainder term. Okay, so yeah, this so, uh, this is uh, some notation. So. Uh, Okay, I will tell you. Okay, just show you. It's how complicated because uh, because what? Because uh, to obtain the equation of this uh, remainder, it uh, of course it should uh, depends on the g zero g one g two. Okay, so that's why we we must uh, we must uh, con uh, construct a very complicated uh, energy and the energy dissipation functional, and uh, then ah, dissipation rate. So let's look at our. Stay, I, let me state our result. Our result is okay. Uh, given some initial data, okay, uh, with this uh, with this kind of higher regularity, and then so the and the next stocks of uh, Maxwell has a group of solution. Okay, I said okay. The first step of this approach is to prove the existence of a limit equation. Okay, so we get uh, get this uh, higher. Uh, the limit of the next stock of Maxwell, we have solution. That means we have a solution for G1. Okay? Then, the limit, okay, okay, given this, that the initial data will prepare the, okay, will prepare the initial data just kinetic form. And uh, the energy we construct uh, very small, then the VMP admits a going time classical solution with a special form, okay? What what kind of special form? With this form, okay. That's our uh, that's our result. Okay. Uh, so the, I just want to know the, want to give the, the key point of uh, to obtain the the, the obtain the global Maxwell uh, a global uniform in, in, in uniform in absolute estimate is uh, we have to use the structure of. Uh, Maxwell type equation, which uh, derives the Ohm's law, uh, which give us a a decay of this a b uh, b the remainder term the b, which is a is, which is a linear the leading term is a linear uh, wave equation with a decay term. Okay, that's a key. Okay, so this one.
Uh, now, uh, I don't have much time, okay, so I'm very quickly. Uh, I will not go to the details. Uh, if you are interested, in it, just so we can discuss it uh, okay, after my talk. Now, the second one. Okay, this year, I and uh, you know, we get a, get a top down, uh, yeah, really the bottom up result. We write our second approach, okay, from, it's a real, from big MV2 next stock maximum. We write the equation of uh, VMB with this form. And, uh, okay, forget about the square, okay, so is there some, some stupid reason? Okay, so anyway, so this is a fluctuation. Okay, we assume this uh, satisfies the, the, the velocity of Maxwell, then G epsilon satisfies this. And our goal is to directly obtain the uniform in epsilon estimate for this G epsilon, then take a limit to get a name stocks in Maxwell. That's our goal. Okay, so it's a much, much more cleaner. Okay, so uh, we introduce a fully energy functional, and it's a dissipation one, which is much easier than the Hilbert dissipation one. But here, just the usual one, can okay? you see? G is the HS for both X and V, uh, and uh, G is uh, just a regular H, HS, B and HS. But note the dissipation. Dissipation here is a, is a, is a, okay, this is kind of a regular, but here there is a one derivative loss, okay, that's fine. But here, note, notice our dissipation is a, dissipation depending on epsilon, it's a one over epsilon square, a one over epsilon square. But here, P is a one, P is a projection of a G into the fluid equation, and the P orthogonal is, is into kinetic P. Now from here, once we have uh, once we have uniform estimate for this G and D, you see here, net epsilon go to zero, so this term will automatically go to zero. That means that the kinetic part will go to zero. So what's left is uh, exactly the fluid part. That's the solution of the net stocks of Maxwell. Okay, that's, that's, that's a given. So our goal is uh, to obtain the uniform estimate in epsilon estimate. So this is our result. Result is, uh, you see, uh, the first, uh, yeah, yeah, this is for S, uh, okay, S is big enough, and uh, here is uh, epsilon zero, uh, L0 is, uh, is uh, of course, uh, with some smoothness assumption, okay, with the uh, initial energy is uh, small, then the VMB, the fluctuated, uh, fluctuation of VMB has a global solution, global in T, okay? And there has a uniform energy estimate. Look at this. Once we have this, we just take a limit right on the local conservation law and, uh, and take a limit. Okay. The second part here, okay, we have a, you know, the initial data, and the uh, initial data has some convergence. You know, initial data has this form. Then, based on the solution obtained in the previous result, this is G epsilon. Has, has a limit, and this guy, and this limit is a solution of a Navistock's uh, Maxwell with uh, almost known with the initial data. Okay, so, and uh, first of all, the convergence of a moment holds, okay, the, how, how, which one converges to you? This is a G epsilon, take a moment with V, uh, with take a, take a level projection converges to you, and the G, you know, take convergence with uh, V squared, basically, we get the theta. Then, uh, and the convergence right here is uh, strong in this, and the weakly strong in X, and the uh, weak star in T, and the, uh, and the weakly in HS. So that's our uh, result. And uh, again, key, the key is to, to write the equation VLB into the so-called micro-macro decomposition. The macroscopic uh, part is, is a next stop of Brasov. A uh, level stocks and Maxwell, and uh, we estimate the 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 the, the kinetic part. Uh, so uh, the conclusion and uh, the possible future work here. So uh, we what we need is uh, okay. So two fluid uh, incompressible level stocks Maxwell can be can be justified from velocity of Maxwell Boltzmann. Uh, then uh, some possible generalization is a uh, is a uh, 
uh, extension. Okay, I, I forgot this to say. Uh, because of uh, for the simplicity, so so far we only considered the hot sphere case, collision kernel, uh, and uh, consider on torus. So extension to more general kernels of the I mean hot. I have I five minutes. Why you couldn't stop it? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so it extended it to the whole space or more general condition kernel. Okay, it's doable, no problem. Trust me, we can do it, but uh, it's more complicated. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, now, you know, formally from Vlasov and Maxwell Boltzmann, we can obtain some incompressible Euler, Maxwell, something like this. You know, it's harder. Because even for the incompressible Euler and Maxwell, there are already some very technical work uh, on the compressible Euler and Maxwell, you know, by the UNESCO, Yangguo, whatever. That's a, that's a school for, for, some, for some group of. Uh, not in a way big question. So the example is a, it's a very complicated one. And uh, here is compressible Ola Maxwell and the compressible Nevi Stocks and Maxwell. Okay, so this guy is not uh, similar to the compressible Nevi Stocks. Uh, so, so this kind of limit is still unknown. And uh, the even harder one is a domain with boundary. So you know, it's, uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, Dr. Lee will talk about the uh, classic species in glass of possible man with bounded domain. Uh, but for but for glass of Maxwell Boltzmann, that's much harder. Because of this uh, Maxwell equation is uh, is a you know hyperbolic equation. You know that even for the renormalized solution, Stephen Mishler, uh, he basically solves the the renormalized uh, Solution of a Boltzmann and a vertical Poisson and a vertical Planck, blah blah blah. Lot of a very general type of kinetic, kinetic equation in a bounded domain. They solve this problem except velocity of Maxwell Boltzmann. Yeah, uh, and, uh, because of this mm -hmm. Maxwell equation. So, so far, so that's a, uh, I think that's a huge, huge challenge uh, to, to this bridge. So, I, I, I stop here. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Oh, yeah. Actually, I have a small comment about the possible expansion to more general kernels. Mm -hmm. Indeed, um, it's interesting to see that uh, since you have, uh, since you're using the Maxwell uh, equation, you're uh, somehow thinking only of charged particles. Whereas the collision kernel that you use is really typical of neutral uh, particles. Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, it would be interesting to put the Nando uh, collision operator uh, rather than, than the Boltzmann, and especially the Boltzmann with cutoff uh, collision operator, yes. in order to have a better coherence between the, the, the two assumptions. And uh, my feeling is that it's, uh, I mean, starting from the methods by Guo, it's not impossible a priori to, no. to imagine this. I, I, I fully agree with you. I, I know what you are talking about. <laughs> also, I would like to add another comment that uh, somehow it's uh, still uh, quite interesting to, to, to consider the, uh, the Boltzmann type kernels. If you are looking at full plasmas in which you have part of the, of the particles which are charged and mm -hmm. part of the particles which are still neutral because they have not been completely ionized. I in that case, the Collisions between the charged ones and the and the neutral ones will really be of Boltzmann type and not of Nando type. Yes. And up to my knowledge, uh, nobody has really uh, thought about the uh, about the gold plasma in all this uh, in all this uh, uh, sequel of uh, of works. And I think it's something which is quite interesting and also quite interesting for the for the application. Let me add a final comment if I may. <laughs> <laughs> we get hungry with him, so we are hungry, but anyway, <laughs> uh, that part of the problems uh, that, that sort of arise when, uh, because of the 
hyper publicity yes, uh, Maxwell uh, yes. assistance are due to the fact that you have this uh, x equals ct uh, lines which are uh, which are bad lines in some sense and this is really because you start from the classical uh, Maxwell uh, equation mm -hmm. I mean with uh, with a non relativistic yes, 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 yes and it would disappear if you would uh, start with the relativistic, relativistic okay. yes. so uh, in some sense I mean uh, I would say that in, that in that kind of problem to sort of simplify the modeling actually does not really help for the for the analysis of the of the equation mm -hmm. and of course if you put a relativistic term at the level of the Vladov, you should also put it at the level of the, of the kernel. Mm -hmm. It is more or less what is doing, uh, I think, uh, the, the, the group in, uh, in Philadelphia of, uh, uh, you know, Bob Strain. And yes, 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 ah. yes. Anyway, just to sort of extend no, your, no. There your future work. Yes, 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 I agree, I agree with this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little monster and the Indeed, for you know, more than relativistic, more than than consider the limited. Also, this kind of this this kind this type of question already here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are there any other comments or questions? Okay. Let's give the speaker a hand.